If you've already watched the previous three installments about the enigmatic Black Knight satellite, you'll know that this mini-documentary series on our channel is one of the most comprehensive efforts to unravel the subject on YouTube. Backed by solid, in-depth research, we learned many extraordinary and obscure details about the mysterious extraterrestrial communication device, all of which offered much food for thought. We humans have been in awe of the Black Knight satellite right from its detection 125 years ago. The trove of data and photographic evidence available today no longer make it easy to dismiss the satellite as a figment of fertile imagination. In this concluding episode, we'll delve into even more intriguing facets of the celebrated Black Knight satellite. The Black Knight story is alive and well, precisely 125 years after Tesla first reported signals that apparently emanated from the object. Numerous sightings and photographs of this otherworldly satellite continue to be reported by sky gazers from all over the world. In late 2020, a video that purportedly showed the Black Knight satellite hovering over Santa Rosa in the Philippine province of Laguna circulated on YouTube. The fuzzy video showed a brownish-red tinted object with what appeared to be spikes emerging from an opening on its top, moving silently through the sky. But former NASA engineer James Oberg said that most UFO sightings were nothing more than space dandruff floating in front of cameras. He argued that the human brain is not wired to make sense of such tiny objects in our skies. Be that as it may, the shape of the object witnessed over the Philippines bore a striking resemblance to the alleged Black Knight satellite photographed by NASA astronauts in 1998. But as always, NASA scientists remain unmoved. They say people who regularly mistake birds, planes, weather phenomena, and optical illusions for UFOs are taking it a bit too far with the Black Knight topic. Moreover, they raise a moot point regarding the improbability of a satellite floating below the clouds in our atmosphere as the satellites closest to Earth orbit around 200 miles in space. Skeptics and NASA insiders have long charged UFO hunters of making exaggerated claims and fabricating conspiracy theories out of thin air. They allege that despite the lack of concrete evidence, Black Knight devotees combine a collection of disconnected stories, some bordering on the downright preposterous, into one fanciful narrative. But by all counts, it seems alien theorists cannot be simply wished away. Not just are their numbers increasing day by day, but with the aid of the Internet, they are a global community that digs deep into declassified government documents, sharing information and images about UFO sightings and related events, and registering personal experiences online in real time. Above all, they do not hesitate to question the official version of events. Under the cover of darkness, the Black Knight satellite that is estimated to weigh a whopping 15 tons has stealthily watched the rise and fall of civilizations and cultures throughout the world. Though it ranks as one of the most seen, heard, and photographed objects in space history, we have no clue why it is here, who or what is monitoring us, and for what purpose. Are we akin to animals under observation? as posited in the zoo hypothesis? Noted planetary scientist Carl Sagan had this to say about the Voyager Golden Record. The spacecraft will be encountered and the record played only if there are advanced spacefaring civilizations in interstellar space. But what if these superior extraterrestrial entities choose not to respond? Probably because they have already learnt everything there is to know about the pale blue dot we inhabit the one that Voyager 1 photographed from 3.7 billion miles away in 1990. While optimistically minded people say the Black Knight satellite was sent to raise our level of consciousness and technology, or maybe even to prevent us from destroying ourselves. Others fear it is a weapon that could annihilate us or instigate an invasion by harvesting information about us and relaying that data to its planet of origin. With so many divergent views on the subject, 
it is impossible to reach a definitive conclusion. Alien enthusiasts say the flurry of activity on the UFO subject over the past few years is welcome, as it was long overdue. Dubbed tinfoil hatters and nutcases for decades, experiencers of the UFO phenomenon from across the world are now being taken far more seriously. Astonishing Pentagon videos and photos of alien craft making inconceivable maneuvers. Whistleblowers from the Air Force and Navy spilling the beans about their personal encounters before the U.S. Congress. The declassification of material pertaining to historic events involving unidentified aerial phenomena, or UAP, as the U.S. military has now rebranded them, and the heightened interest displayed by politicians and the media, all beg the question, is the public being prepared for imminent disclosure? But wait. Is it that simple, or are we being readied for something else? The revelation that German-American aerospace engineer and space architect Werner von Braun allegedly made on his deathbed is haunting. And the last card they will play will be the alien card. In March 2017, a conspiracy theorist released a video claiming the Black Knight satellite had been shot down by a secret Illuminati warplane. Despite garnering hundreds of thousands of views opinion about the footage available on YouTube, remains divided, as its authenticity cannot be determined. With superlative software technology, including AI, available to the public like never before, it is now easy to fake videos of alleged extraterrestrial craft and alien entities. Separating the wheat from the chaff has indeed become a Herculean task for researchers who earnestly pursue the UFO subject. Denouncing such online gimmicks that spread disinformation, they lament that it not only enables naysayers to easily discredit their findings, but that it dents the hard work they invest to unravel the phenomenon. In 2015, Pepsi released a short film titled Black Knight Decoded, with the claim that the satellite's origin can be traced back 13,000 years, and then adding confidently, this is not science fiction, this is real. Despite the Hollywood spin, the origin and purpose of the Black Knight satellite has continued to perplex observers. Dismissing all talk of the Black Knight satellite, NASA reiterates that photographs of the so-called object are wrongly interpreted. Space scientists direct attention to the fact that if it was a spacecraft or satellite wheeling in polar orbit, it would have been traveling at 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles per second. At that remarkable speed, the STS-88 Endeavour crew couldn't have taken the number of images that they did. Down to this day, the lack of official confirmation about the ominous satellite has fueled numerous conspiracy theories, making it one of the most debated enigmas in space exploration history. No matter which side of the fence you are on, curiosity is an intrinsic human trait, more so when it concerns the many unknowns in the cosmos. The truth about the Black Knight satellite, that clinching piece of evidence everyone is waiting for with bated breath, may elude us for now. But the quest for answers will continue forever.